Hello everyone. Today I want to share from rebellious teen to successful entrepreneur, Anna's transformation journey, an incredible story of Anna, a city girl whose life takes an unexpected turn. From a privileged yet rebellious teenager to a mature, independent individual, Anna's journey is filled with personal growth, love, and responsibility. Anna's father is a successful businessman, and her mother is his right-hand assistant, working hard together in their careers. At 15 years old, Anna lives a privileged life with everything she could desire, latest electronic gadgets, branded clothes, and a group of friends who admire her for her wealth. She is selfish and rebellious, frequently skips classes, races cars, and spends money recklessly. Feeling misunderstood by her parents, she only talks to them when she needs money. On a daily basis, Anna is taken care of by nannies or drivers, living a life where she barely needs to do anything for herself, effectively a spoiled giant baby. Due to their busy careers, her parents seldom have time to care for Anna. They are neither concerned about her success nor her ability to grow independently. In such an indifferent family, Anna doesn't understand what love is, nor does she know how to share and care for others. One night, the sudden arrival of police officers shattered the family's peace. Anna's father was accused of financial fraud and was arrested on the spot. Anna's world collapsed instantly, she couldn't understand why this was happening to her family. Her mother anxiously tried to explain, but the police were unmoved. Anna helplessly watched as her father was taken away, feeling deep fear and insecurity. Her mother told her that her father's assets had been frozen and that she would no longer live a life of luxury. To focus on handling her father's affairs, Anna's mother decided to send Anna to live with her grandparents in the countryside for a while. Anna boarded the train with apprehension and dissatisfaction, filled with fear and anxiety about the upcoming rural life. Looking out at the quickly changing scenery, Anna felt confused and lost. She didn't know if she could adapt to the simple, rustic countryside life. She also worried about her family's financial situation and her uncertain future. She unknowingly shook her head and sighed, clueless about what awaited her. Getting off the train, Anna saw her grandpa and her 10-year-old cousin Bobby waiting at the platform. It was her first time meeting Bobby, and she felt a bit awkward. Bobby, who is five years younger than Anna, is her aunt's son, left in the care of their grandparents while the parents work elsewhere. Bobby, smart, lively, and friendly, enthusiastically introduced himself, picked up Anna's luggage, and led her out of the station. Grandpa came with a tractor to pick her up, which Anna found fascinating. Sitting on the tractor, she looked at the lush green rice fields, flowers, and fruit trees covering the hills, distant mountains shrouded in mist, green hills, and blue skies. She even saw cows and sheep grazing on distant slopes. The fresh air and beautiful surroundings made Anna curious, momentarily forgetting the pain of leaving home. In what seemed like no time, they arrived at Grandpa's house. There were no tall buildings like in the city, just low earthen houses and shelters for chickens, ducks, cows, and sheep. Grandpa's house was starkly different from the city home, no luxury facilities, only simple furniture. The reality stunned Anna, no running water, no refrigerator, TV, modern bathrooms, and toilets, not to mention phones and cars. Anna carefully observed the neat but very simple and shabby house, with some windows still papered over. She didn't know if she could survive in such an environment or how long she would have to stay. Anna could only silently pray, hoping her father's situation would be resolved soon and her parents would rescue her from the countryside. Thinking of this, tears began to flow uncontrollably. At dinner, Grandpa, Grandma, Bobby, and Anna sat around a small round table, chatting while eating, creating a very harmonious atmosphere. For the first time, Anna experienced the warmth of a family meal. She realized it had been a long time since she last ate with her parents. At this moment, she missed her mom and dad very much and wondered when they would be reunited. Under the patient guidance of her grandparents, Anna learned to live simply. She helped grandpa with farm work, assisted neighbors, and gradually integrated into this simple world. Anna began to accept the reality in front of her and gradually understood the hardships of life. Without her family and nanny, she had to take care of everything herself. For the first time, Anna felt the joy of independence. 
It turned out that growing from a spoiled child to a self-reliant person wasn't that difficult. It was as if Anna had just awakened from a deep sleep, starting to experience simple and sincere joys she had never felt before. As time passed, Anna slowly adapted to rural life. The regular daily routine made her realize changes in her body and mind. Her long-standing insomnia and headaches disappeared unknowingly, her appetite increased after labor, and she was no longer picky about food. Besides her little cousin Bobby, Anna made several close friends, such as her peers Xiu Hua and Yan Zi. She blended in with the village children, learning to catch fish and loaches in the ponds, bake sweet potatoes with soil clumps beside the fields, and weave baskets and hats with leaves. Anna also learned to feed chickens and ducks, lead cows and sheep to graze on the hills, all of which were fresh and interesting. During the harvest season, Anna and Bobby helped their grandparents with farm work, learning many things they had never encountered before. She began to enjoy the satisfaction of her labor and the joy of giving. From her grandparents, she felt warmth and happiness she had never experienced from her busy parents. Half a year of rural life allowed Anna to experience the fun of countryside living and the kindness, simplicity, responsibility, and commitment of the villagers. Reflecting on the arguments and rebelliousness with her parents at home, Anna felt a deep sense of guilt and remorse. She began to re-examine her past life, understanding and respecting the value of labor and learning the meaning of responsibility and commitment. Anna noticed that many left-behind children in the countryside were cared for by their grandparents while their parents worked elsewhere. During the day, grandparents had to work in the fields, and the slightly older children had to look after their younger siblings. One of her classmates carried his three-year-old brother to school every day. To avoid disturbing the class, he quietly coaxed his brother while listening to the lessons. Anna could hardly believe what she saw. She finally understood that in harsh environments, people's abilities would be stimulated, which is why it is often said, children from poor families grow up early. Her conscience was deeply touched, and she felt ashamed of not being grateful for everything she had in the city. Anna recalled her days of spending money recklessly without any feeling. Xiu Hua walked tens of kilometers to sell vegetables and still couldn't earn enough to cover her family's daily expenses, Yan Zi picked tea leaves all morning and only earned 5 yuan, while Anna casually spent thousands or tens of thousands of yuan. She felt a deep sense of sadness and lamented the poverty of the countryside and the difficulty of earning money. She finally understood her parents' hard work and began to reflect, why am I here in this world? What is the purpose of my life? Anna re-evaluated her relationship with her parents and realized they loved her. She resolved to be a good child, filial to her parents, and not let them worry anymore. Thinking about her previous cold and rebellious attitude towards her parents, she felt very ashamed, and tears flowed uncontrollably. She longed to tell her parents, Mom, Dad, I love you. During her time in the countryside, Anna eagerly awaited her parents to take her home. Grandpa told her that if her mother could come, she would have already, and since she hadn't come, it must be because her father's situation was not yet resolved, asking her to wait patiently. Half a year later, her father's wrongful accusation was cleared, and her mother came to the countryside to bring Anna home. During these months, Anna developed deep feelings for the neighbors, classmates, chickens, ducks, cows, sheep, the rustic farmhouse, fresh air, and beautiful mountains and rivers, making it hard for her to leave, but she still boarded the train home. On the train, her mother noticed Anna had tanned and matured. Anna recalled the moments in the countryside and was no longer the rebellious, spoiled teenager, feeling a strong and clear determination for the future. Back home, Anna became obedient and sensible, starting to study seriously. She knew to cherish what she had, be filial to her parents, and work hard. She understood her parents' hardships and began to care for her family and friends with her heart. Anna no longer pursued luxurious items but focused more on her studies and personal growth. Her relationship with her parents became closer and more harmonious. During Anna's absence, her mother, besides helping to clear her father's name, also started reflecting on what happiness and family meant. Seeing Anna's significant change, her parents felt very comforted. They realized their previous lack of care, companionship, and guidance for Anna. They decided to spend more time accompanying Anna's growth and to build a happy and fulfilling family. 
After a deep discussion, they decided that Anna's mother would temporarily stop working to focus on taking care of Anna. They concluded that no career success could compare to raising a successful child. Anna was delighted that her parents began to care for her more, and the family became more harmonious and loving. After experiencing a meaningful period of rural life, Anna returned to the city and readjusted to school life. In high school, Anna was no longer the self-indulgent teenager. She cherished her learning opportunities and worked hard to improve her academic performance. She joined the school's volunteer team, actively participated in community service activities, and became the class monitor, helping her classmates with their studies and life problems. Anna's efforts were recognized by her teachers and classmates, and she became a model student. She won awards in debate competitions and science contests and successfully got admitted to a prestigious university. Entering university, Anna chose a major she was passionate about, design. She continued to work hard and stay diligent. During university, Anna not only focused on her studies but also actively participated in various campus activities and internship opportunities. She served as the vice president of the student union, organizing and planning many large-scale events and performing excellently in internships, earning the favor of many well-known companies. The student union president, Zhou Jun, a fellow architecture major in her year, was from a rural area, which made Anna feel a fondness for him. Knowing how difficult it was for rural children to attend university, she gradually began a relationship with him, which continued until they graduated. Over four years, Anna not only gained extensive professional knowledge but also learned how to interact with people and maintain her beliefs through difficult times. She transformed from a rebellious teenager into a mature, responsible young adult. After graduating from university, Anna founded her own design company. She worked hard and managed the company diligently, leading it to flourish. Zhou Jun supported and helped her a lot during the startup phase, and they gradually decided to run the company together. Zhou Jun's background in architecture complemented Anna's design expertise, making their company stronger. They supported each other in their careers and stood by each other in life. Three years later, they decided to get married, holding a warm and grand wedding. Their family and friends witnessed their happiness and felt their beautiful expectations for the future. Anna never forgot the half-year life in the countryside. She sponsored her cousin's university education, built a new house for her grandparents, and planned to pave asphalt roads in the village. She and Zhou Jun decided to start a homestay and tourism business in the countryside, leveraging its natural beauty to attract tourists and create more job opportunities for the villagers, reducing the number of left-behind children in the village. Returning to the countryside, Anna felt incredibly gratified looking at the village children. She knew this experience was the most valuable in her life, teaching her to share, be grateful, and give back. Anna's story tells us that no matter how difficult life is, as long as we face it bravely and strive to change, we will surely welcome a bright future. Her experience showcased the power of love and responsibility, making us appreciate the beauty of growth and transformation. The adversities in life foster continuous growth, turning her from a spoiled, rebellious teenager into a mature, understanding, and successful entrepreneur. Anna not only changed her destiny but also gave back to the village that once nurtured her. This is not only the essence of her growth and success but also a testimony to her transformation journey. That's our video for today. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. See you next time. Bye-bye.